I gotta cut that out. Hey guys, I'm gonna do some painting today. We got that other side prepped up and I've got all the weeds and everything cut away from the building. So we're gonna get this painted green this morning. So stick around and we'll get to work. Sharon Williams Super Paint, Dodd Hunter Green Satin Finish. It's paint and primer in one, which for something like this is gonna be okay. I'm using a half inch nap roller, and I shook it up before I uh, put the video camera on, but make sure that you shake a stir them really good before you start painting. So I got a pretty even surface there. I'm gonna load my roller right up. Plenty of paint. Get that nice and loaded. Doesn't roll too well. And then we'll apply to the wall. There as close as I can, I'll come back with a paintbrush and cut that in. Quick tip. Put your stuff in a plastic bag. Try to get all the air out. It'll be a little messy, but put that in a plastic bag and then it won't dry because we're going to use this again pretty soon. I'm just going to use this three inch sash brush. I'm going to cut in the ridges, the grooves, and then right around the edges. I'm a little pinky. I don't want to get my paint. I want to keep it on the sun, but I think that's easier said than done. I think I'll just start in the middle because this is where I'm sitting. Just want to get that in there. Ugh. I guess I should have done a better job of getting all the gunk out of it, but. Pretty much this is about the way Quinn does stuff, so. I just want to get in there. Get that nice and covered. I'll probably come back and do this again. I think I have to already, because you can tell where the red's bleeding through, so. Red's a tough color to cover. Anyway. Let's get right up there. I'll show you how I cut in. I am far from a master of cutting in. I watched a YouTube video on it. So what I do, I like to load up, just load a big area of paint right there. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna press it right in. Get right up there and get those bristles. And I'll just bring those brush strokes down. I'm gonna load the area below it, just load it right up. Kind of like your reservoir there. I'm just gonna bring that right up.
there we got that done this used to be my late uncle's tool shed and back in the early 80s mid 80s probably he shipped it up to my dad and uh, he's used it as his tool shed ever since it sounds simple but just a, a simple building like a tool shed can really tie you into your roots and, and into your history and it really makes me happy that I can still take care of this next up we're gonna we're gonna work on doing some shingle replacement here coming up soon and then we're gonna use it this fall hopefully for an exciting project at the tree field I can't wait to share it with you if it comes to fruition if not well you'll never know things like this maintenance on buildings and the nice August dry weather they make me happy and it's really why I would rather feel bad in Maine than feel good anywhere else. So there you go, my friends. I'll see you soon.